preparing. Um, all of my police officers and with many of our civilian staff have been put on notice and will be working. Um, we will be staffing with probably approximately 70 officers per shift on street. We'll be going to 12 hour shifts actually on Saturday um, in conjunction with the, uh, when the, when the governor makes his decision to do the uh, evacuations. Um, with that, again, we'll have, we'll be running 12 hour shifts with our officers, about 70 officers on the street. What that does for us, we have seven patrol districts. Within those patrol districts, they'll be defined even further where it'll break down so the, our citizens will see officers patrolling the areas, protecting their properties, um, assisting, getting them out of here if there is an evacuation call or when the evacuation is called, helping them get through the routes. Um, our officers are obviously encouraged to keep their tanks full, cars ready to go, so it doesn't impact what our, our supply that we have here on hand. Um, some of our pre-positioning, I think of the officers and our equipment, I think it's important for you to know. We sat down and looked at the map, and looked at the low areas and some areas that the town could experience flooding, and we've identified three specific areas on the north of the town, middle of the town, and on the south of the town. On those three parts of town, there will be strike teams that are made up of police, fire, and public works. Those strike teams will all be assigned to high, high water rescue vehicles. The town does have three vehicles that we have that are ready to go, that can get through the waters if needed to make rescues of anybody that may need it. I do want to emphasize though, when the call to evacuate is made, we encourage you to leave town. 